Should you calorie restrict to balance your hormones and lose that excess weight like many women try to do, or actually eat more food to lose that stubborn excess weight and balance your hormones as well? Well, this is exactly what we're going to look at in this video. Hi, it's Paul Tarthir, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Lifestyle Coach at Rawson Healthy, helping you achieve a healthy weight, healthy hormones, and the body of your dreams naturally. Now, just before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell notification to stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, we have all heard about diets that recommend that you calorie restrict to lose your excess weight and balance your hormones, but what about the negative health effects that you can experience from following such a restrictive way of eating that greatly limits your calorie intake? Well, I want to share with you seven negative health effects that you can experience if you go down the route of calorie restriction in an effort to lose weight and balance your hormones, and then what you should do instead so you can actually lose excess weight, balance your hormones, and feel great doing it as well. So first, and in no particular order, let's look at all the negative health effects associated with calorie restriction. And the first one I wanted to talk about is stalled weight loss. You ate one budge, you cut the calories, but for some reason you just can't lose the excess weight. Why would this happen? Well, this can be due to an increase in stress hormones like cortisol, which can negatively impact your hormonal balance and actually cause you to hold on to excess weight. Yes, that's right. Cutting calories can actually mean that your body hangs on to your excess weight and you don't lose it. The second negative health effect is poor quality sleep. This can happen when your body releases stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline to help support your blood sugar levels that have dropped too low because of eating too few calories during the day. So you go to bed not having had enough calories and then during your sleep your body's store of energy runs too low so then it has to go into overdrive to create more energy which then increases your stress hormones and so affects your sleep and causes you to not fall asleep easily or stay awake. Poor quality sleep is definitely not something you want happening if you want to lose weight and be healthy with balanced hormones. Okay, so you cut those calories out and your mood is affected. This is the third negative health effect. You feel more stressed, less able to cope with everyday events. You have less self-control and you feel you are quick to anger. Basically, your brain is negatively affected by your lack of calories and so blood sugar imbalances will happen, then causing a poor mood. Number four, the next problem is you feel cold all the time. This can occur when you have under eaten on calories and instead of your body creating enough heat from the process called thermogenesis to warm your body, instead it can create enough heat and you then feel colder instead of reaching the temperature that your body desires. This can also be an issue for many women who have thyroid problems and an underactive thyroid in particular. On to number five. This one is about having slower bowel movements. To have optimal health, with balanced hormones, we also need to have good and frequent bowel movements. But when you under eat, you end up with less bulk in your stools. Food travels slowly through your gut and your thyroid gland function can be negatively affected by this as well, which will negatively affect what is called gut motility or the action known as peristalsis, which is the wave-like action of the gut that moves the food along in your gut. We have reached number six now and a lack of desire to exercise. You under eat on calories and then you just don't have the desire to want to exercise because your body has not got enough energy to expend for physical exercise. So you end up just doing the minimal amount of movement during the day without any extra exercise like running, hiking, cycling or other forms of physical exercise just not being possible. But if you do though manage to force yourself to exercise feeling like this, then you can end up feeling burnt out and vulnerable to binging on food which is another scenario you want to avoid. And finally, on to number seven, but certainly not least, is not being able to get pregnant. When you cut right back on calories, it can even affect your ovulation. The thing is, you can also still have your period, but without an egg being produced, which of course means you are not fertile, so you won't be able to conceive. We have worked with a number of ladies who have unwittingly under eaten on calories and then had trouble conceiving. This health issue was only corrected when we worked with them on creating a health and lifestyle plan that allowed them to eat more healthy whole food calories and so bring their hormones back into balance. So as you can see from all that we have gone through in this video, significantly cutting back on your calories can have very negative health consequences for you and your body. 
The real answer to losing your excess weight and balancing your hormones is not cutting back on your calorie intake, but instead eating a balanced meal plan full of healthy plant foods, which is how we have helped so many ladies over the years balance their hormones, lose their excess weight, and just as importantly, feel great doing it. So if you are wondering, great, so how do I change my eating plan to one that is a health promoting, low fat, high carb, whole plant foods one that I've talked about in this video, then I would like to invite you to our free online masterclass where you can learn the five steps that our clients use to balance their hormones naturally, lose between 10 and 50 pounds of excess weight without carbohydrate restriction and achieve the body of their dreams. So the link for that is rawsomehealthy.com forward slash webinar. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to link this video to another video where Yulia talks to one of our clients, Tina, who balanced her excess weight, hormonal problems, and other health issues by following the right diet and lifestyle plan.